sabay pa uwi na ng Pilipinas or kung hindi naman po kaya, ang anak po ninyo na minor ay uuwi ng Pilipinas at either kasama kayo or hindi kayo kasama. Alamin po natin, ano po ba mga requirements for minors flying with their parents pa uwi ng Pilipinas? At kayong din po kung sakasakaling uuwi ang inyong minors na 13 years old hanggang 17 years old ang edad, ngunit walang kasamang guardian or parents. Pareho ba ng requirements? Yan po ang ating aalamin at ating din pong tunghayan. Ano po ba yung mga naging challenges ng ilang mga magulang po natin na ang kanilang mga anak ay nag-travel unaccompanied by a guardian or parents. So watch this video mga kabayan at tayo po isasagot sa mga katanungang ito. Muli, welcome sa isa na naman pong episode ng ating sagot sa iyong katanungan, aking mga kabayan. Ako po si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV show host kung saan ay dadalang po kayo ng information at kasagutan ukol sa topic na ito. If this is your first time to watch our video sa ating mga first time visitors, I simply want to say welcome and i-click nyo na po yung subscribe button. Iniimbitahan ko po kayo na makasama natin araw-araw at click nyo na rin po yung notification bell nang sa gayon ay lagi kayong updated. And of course, to all our viewers, welcome back. So sagutin na po natin ang katanungan ng ating mga kapayan. Ito nga po pala ang concern na ishinare po sa atin ang isa sa mga subscribers po natin na meron din po siyang anak na unaccompanied minor na dumating sa Pilipinas. Let us just take a look. Mula kay Risa Aguado, sabi niya, kahapon umuwi ang anak ko via Emirates, 15 years old. Nahold siya ng matagal sa BOQ dahil wala daw PCR test. Fully vaccinated siya. Gusto niya, gusto siyang i-quarantine. Sobrang natakot ang anak ko kasi mag-isa siya at wala siyang guardian. Sobrang, uh, ayan, palisap sa namin. After four hours, decide uh, kuhanan sa airport ang antigen test. I think that sobrang pahirap naman. Ayan. After four hours, decide na kuhanan sa airport ng antigen test at yung negative, saka pa lang siya pinayagang lumabas. Kawawa yung bata, tagal niyang naghintay. Sabi sa advisory, 12 to 17 years old, fully vaccinated, no need ng PCR test at quarantine. Very confusing talaga. Hi Riza, ayan, thank you so much for sharing to us yung nangyari uh, sa iyong anak at experience niya sa arrival journey niya. Now, let us just take a look at this and let me help shed some light into this situation. Uh, bali, aside from Riza, meron din tayong isang magulang dati na nag-share din sa atin. Ang sa kanya naman is uh, for Riza, at least yung iyong anak pagka -uwi, via Emirates, uh, kumbaga, na-hold siya sa BOQ but after na siya ay nag-RT-PCR test, siya ay pinauwi. So, uh, i-explain natin later kung ano yung possible reason dito. Yung sa isang situation naman ng isang minor natin, so let me share to yung isa pang karanasan ng unaccompanied minor natin na na-share ng kanyang magulang. So, ito naman, dahil nga it was not that clearly uh, shared then uh, mula sa airlines ano ba yung mga dapat gawin for an accompanied minor at yung premise na 12 to 17 years old na fully vaccinated exempted na hindi na ipaliwanag ng malinaw na kailangan yung premise na yun ay kasama ang fully vaccinated uh, guardian or parents so para sa unaccompanied minor in that situation ay since walang RT-PCR test yung bata upon uh, departure from the port of origin dahil yun nga lang po yung premise na kumbaga inexplain so what had happened was the child was asked to go on a hotel quarantine upon arrival the, in the Philippines so nag RT-PCR test pa 50 from the hotel but again that was fully unexpected from the parents wala kumbaga dun ora mismo kinakailangan magbook ng hotel at the same time ang bata dumiretso tuloy sa hotel and then I think kinoordinate na lang 
uh, depende sa edad ng bata kasi merong mga unaccompanied minors na kinakailangan ng guardians, hindi pa. So, uh, anyway, yun yung naging experience yung isa pa nating viewer o yung anak ng ating viewer. So, uh, tingnan po natin, ano po ba yung uh, guidelines dito at Tunay naman po na iintindihan ko yung dalawang magulang na ating mga subscribers na talagang na-confuse sila dahil the guidelines might not have been that clear and the airlines also na pinili nila para sa kanilang mga anak na mag-travel ay maaring hindi nakapagpadala ng guidelines ahead of time na kasi doon sa pinaka-protocol lamang nang nabinigay po para sa mga minors, hindi kasama po doon yung unaccompanied minors na sakop na po yun ng airlines. So, yun po ang nakikita kong possible challenge kung kaya't unaware po yung ating ilang mga parents. So, looking forward that this video will be able to help you all na mga parents kung sakaling ang inyong anak ay magta-travel alone and on their own ngayong mga coming months. So please make sure that you have to check it from the airlines kung ano yung latest protocol nila. But for the meantime, here are the updates. Miss Jamie, ano po ba talaga ang rule when it comes to minors? So may dalawang classification po ang minors natin at yan po i-discuss natin isang below 12 years old at meron po naman yung 13 years old or uh, 12 years old pataas. So, tingnan po natin ang sinasabi ng BOQ regarding this. Marami po kasi ang naguguluhan, depende ko ano po yung reference na inyong tiningnan uh, or titingnan when it comes to guidance for the protocols for the minors. It will always be great po sa nakita ko po sa mga examples na ang titingnan po natin ay yung nasa B-O-Q. Sige, punta po tayo sa B-O-Q guidelines. Kasi napansin ko doon sa iba na website, like for example, in some airlines, hindi po kumpleto yung information na maaring naging reason ng, let us just say, ka-confusan or hindi kalinawan mula po sa ilan sa ating mga magulang or ilan pong mga Travelers. So, ito po. Tingnan natin mga kabayan. So, when we talk about the minors, mga kabayan, ang mga minors ay makaklasify natin siya into two types na uuwi sa Pilipinas. Ang unang type po ng ating mga minors, ang uh, pag sinabi po nating minors, ang subclassification po ng minors ay yung mga below 12 years old at yung mga 13 years old to 17 years old. Ngayon, yung unang grupo po natin, ito yung mga minors na uuwi kasama ang kanilang mga magulang. Kasama po kayo. Ang pangalawa naman po, maaring uuwi ang mga batang 13 years old to 17 years old na minors na hindi kasama ang mga magulang or tinatawag natin ang accompanied minors. So, yan pong ating i-discuss sa ating video ito. Una muna, kapag kasama kayo, pauwi bilang parents and guardians, what are the guidelines for the minors? And second, what are the guidelines for the unaccompanied minors? At of course, we will also take a look at the common challenges ng ating mga magulang na na-encounter po nila in the past few days. Yan. For classification or group number one, minors traveling with parents or guardians. So, para po mas klaro ang uh, ating uh, kumbaga basis or masasabi natin na saan ba tayo nagre-refer, kinakailangan po na ibase na po natin ito mula sa BOQ. Kasi sila po yung nagsasabi or authority when it comes who will actually go for a quarantine or hindi. So, yan po. Tingnan po natin kung ano ang sinasabi sa One Health Pass website. So, let us just take a look everyone. Para po accurate yung ating reference, punta na po tayo sa 
Bureau of Quarantine. Uh, kumbaga, information na matatagpuan po sa One Health Pass. Yan po yung onehealthpass.com.ph. Bakit po? Kasi sila po yung nag approve whether ang isang minor ay kinakailangan ba ng pre-departure COVID-19 test or kung sila po ba pagdating sa Pilipinas, magka-quarantine ba or diretso na pa -uwi. So, eto po yung kanilang guidelines para at least clear tayo. So, unang-una, the following international travelers bound to the Philippines are no longer required to undergo the facility-based quarantine and exempted from presenting the pre-departure COVID-19 negative test result na tinatawag po nating RT-PCR or antigen test. Ito po ay mula sa IATF Resolution number 168, effective May 30, 2000. 2022. Sa mga nagtatanong, Ms. Jamie, may bago ba sa protocol? So, sa ngayon mga kabayan, ito pa rin siya eh. May 30, uh, IATF Resolution number, number 168. So, hindi na kinakailangan mag-undergo ng facility-based quarantine at ma-exempt din sa pagpepresent ng pre- Departure COVID-19 negative test result kung ikaw ay magkofall sa any of this category. So, may tatlo tayo. Una, sa mga adults, 18 years old above, basta fully vaccinated, whether foreigner or Filipino national, basta may booster shot. Isa yan or dalawa, exempted ka na when it comes to pre-departure COVID-19 test. Pag-uwi ng Pilipinas, diretso sa bahay, 7 days home quarantine. Now, eto na po, number 2 and number 3. Ito ang focus ng topic natin for minors. So, ang mga minors po na at uh, makakasama pa uwi kung kayo ay magulang. Kung kayo ay, eto sabi po dito ha, foreign or Filipino minors, age 12 to 17 years old ang makakasama po ninyo. Kasama basta ang fully vaccinated and accompanied by fully vaccinated and boosted parents or guardians, dun po lamang sila may exempt So, eto po yung madalas na let us just say confusion for most parents po. Dahil maari ang nabasa po natin ay yung guidelines mula sa ilang mga airlines na hindi po nakaspecify yung last part. Yung last part po after nung asterisk, tingnan po muli natin ha. Dito sa number 2, i-highlight po natin. Ito po, and accompanied by fully vaccinated and boosted parents or guardians. So, ang most of the time na nakikita po natin is foreign and Filipino minors age 12 to 17 years old and who are fully vaccinated. So, kapag halimbawa po sila ay lumipad unaccompanied, meaning walang parents, walang guardians, um, na meron po ilan po sa inyo na nagtanong sa akin uh, na Ms. Jamie, bakit ganon? Sabi po nila yung aking anak kahit naman 12 to 17 years old at fully vaccinated, bakit hinihingan ng uh, vaccinations? Ito po muna yung requirements. So, foreign or Filipino minors age 12 to 17 years old who are fully vaccinated and accompanied by fully vaccinated and boosted parents or guardians. Pangatlo. Kung foreign Filipino minors naman po below 8, 12 years old, regardless of the vaccination status, kinakailangan pa rin po accompanied ng fully vaccinated with boosted parents or guardians. Kung sakasakaling hindi, Jamie, ako with booster pero fully vaccinated ako, ano mangyayari sa anak ko na kasama kong uuwi sa Pilipinas? Ibig sabihin po niyan, kung siya ay below 3 years old, exempted sa pre-departure COVID-19 testing. Pero, kung below 12 years old at before po mag, uh, kung mag hanggang 3 years old at uh, kung kayo ay walang booster mga kabayan, kinakailangan mag pre-departure COVID-19 testing anak ninyo, katulad po ninyo. Kasi wala po kayong booster. Same thing po sa mga unvaccinated parents or guardians. The same rule applies na only the Below 3 years old ang ma -e exempt sa pre-departure COVID-19 testing. So I hope that's quite clear everyone. Tingnan po natin ngayon ang latest 
protocol from the Philippine Airlines regarding the minors, specifically the unaccompanied minors. Now that you know ano bang rule para sa mga minors kung kasama kayo na fully vaccinated at may booster, alamin naman po natin paano kung unaccompanied. Now let us discuss the second group. It's for the unaccompanied minors. So the unaccompanied minors, katulad na nabanggit po natin, they will be traveling without the parents or guardians. So let us just take a sample from the Philippine Airlines. So sino ba yung mga unaccompanied minors? Sabi po nila ang travel restrictions dito dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic ang mga unaccompanied minors may not be allowed to travel in some destinations. Travelers are advised to check the latest travel rules and requirements of the destination before actually traveling. Para po sa Philippine Airlines Lines. They offer unaccompanied minors or UM and young passengers traveling alone or YPTA services for children traveling without their parents or legal guardian who is at least 18 years old. Age and flight restrictions for children, uh, children traveling alone. Tingnan po natin mga kabayan. Kung ang edad ay zero, to below 8 years old, ito po ay may restrictions na ang minors cannot travel alone and must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian. So, hindi po pwedeng lumipad mag-isa. Kung ito naman po anak po natin o anak ninyo ay 8 to below 13 years old, ito po, minors can travel alone on domestic flights only and must avail of the unaccompanied minor service. Now, ito po, minors can alone travel on domestic and international flights and must again avail of the unaccompanied minor service. So, yan po. Napaka-importanting i-take note natin yung mga kabayan. So, kung hindi Philippine Airlines, ang inyong, uh, kumbaga, airlines na pinili para lumipad po ang inyong anak, make sure you're very clear about their, uh, kumbaga, guidelines ng sagayon ay hindi kayo mabulaga or magulat pagdating sa airport, uh, either dyan, sa point of origin or pagdating sa Pilipinas. Ito pa, Note, according to Philippine Airlines, kung ang minor are 13 years old to below 18 years old, for Filipino national, unaccompanied minors on an international travel, kinakailangan po ng travel clearance must be secured from DSW. Kayo po pa ay nakapag-secure na ng clearance from DSWT. Ang naging challenge po napansin ko sa ilan po nating mga parents na maaring hindi po sila na-inform ng uh, airlines na kinakailangan ni travel clearance po na from DSWT. Bakit? Kasi makaka-apekto to. Doon sa, di ba, yung requirements kanina, sabi, uh, fully vaccinated na uh, 12 to 17 years old, enough na yun at ma-exempt when it comes to uh, kumaga, yung pre-departure COVID-19 testing at pag-uwi, didiretso na sa bahay. Ngunit kung walang travel clearance that is secured from DSWD plus again, an accompanied ito, the rule actually changed a little bit or slightly. Ang kailangan lang talaga is you will be aware about it kasi kung hindi, kung ang panghahawakan nyo lang is 12 to 17 years old, fully vaccinated, exempted, hindi hindi kompleto po yon. Kailangan may fully vaccinated at may booster na magulang. Doon lang ma exempt ang 12 to 17 years old na fully vaccinated. Pero kung unaccompanied minor po ito na fully vaccinated, kailangan pa po nila ng travel clearance uh, na isi-secure sa DSWD at kinakailangan po po yan ng, ayan, titingnan po natin yung requirement kayo ng Philippine Airlines so that you will be clear about it. So, pause po muna tayo doon ha at i-discuss ko as we go along the uh, kumbaga requirements. Now, karagdagan kung foreign minor passenger naman po 
or non-Philippine passport holders traveling from the Philippines must check with their respective embassies for any applicable requirement. Ito naman po yung palipad na from the Philippines. Please take note, UMSF is only required for below 12 years old. 8 to 11 po. For 12 years old to 18 years old, it is optional. Yun po yung tinatawag natin na unaccompanied minor service. Ayan. Now, let us just take a look at the other re restrictions. Ito na po. Ano bang requirements ng Philippine Airlines for minors traveling from the Philippines? Ito po. Unang-una, applicable to Philippine Airlines domestic and international flights and PAL Express domestic flights. Kung ito po ay for international travelers at Philippine passport holders, kinakailangan po na mag-secure ng authority to travel clearance from the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Please take note of that, parents. So, kinakailangan nyo po mag-secure nito. At hindi lang po yan. For more information, ito po mga kabayan. Sige, lakihan ko lang po ito. Ayan po, for more information... Or inquiries about unaccompanied minors traveling abroad, you may contact DSWD. Ito po yung official email, support, t, uh, support ROFs at dswd.gov.ph. Kung gusto nyo pong tumawag naman mga kabayan, ito yung hotline number nila, paki screenshot lang po ng sa gayon ay matawagan nyo sila in case you need further clarification. Note, Sabi po nila dito, ang DSWD Administrative Order Number 2012 of 2017 or the Guidelines for Minors Traveling Abroad. Tingnan niyo po ito at basahin. Ito po pag kinilik niyo, makikita niyo po yung full details. Para naman po sa foreign or national or non-Philippine passport holders, you must check with their respective embassies po for applicable exit clearance requirement. Now, let's take a look at the second requirement po ng Philippine Airlines. For domestic travel where children, minors are traveling to and from Davao, pursuant to City Ordinance Number 2491, otherwise known as the Davao City Children's Welfare Code. Ito po ang kanilang sinasabi. It provides that minors are not allowed to travel alone to and from Davao City without valid reason or without clearance issued by the Punong Barangay or Permit to Travel Certification. So, kailangan po ito ay manggaling from the City Social Services and Development Office ng City of Davao. So, please take note of that, Davao Wenyos, so that at least you can secure the necessary documentation or requirements para makatravel po ang inyong anak, anak company. Now, number three, the parents or guardians of the unaccompanied minor shall be required to accomplish the unaccompanied minor handling advice form. So, pakiklik lang po ito. So, kung kayo ay Philippine Airlines traveler, itong kulay blue, click nyo lang po ito at ipapakita. Ito po, buksan po natin mga kabayan. Ayan. So, you have to simply complete the unaccompanied minor request for carriage handling advice. So, ayan po. Mga kabayan, and you send it to them. Let's go back and take a look. Ngayon, number four, the unaccompanied minor must be accompanied to the airport of departure and to be met at the stopover point and on arrival by the persons indicated in the unaccompanied minor form. So, kailangan po i-ensure kung sino yung nilagay po ninyo doon sa form, yun din po talaga ang nandun sa departure and arrival. Number five, an accompanied minor badge shall be provided in the airport of departure for proper identification together with a special unaccompanied minor envelope containing all the related travel documents. Ayan. So, kompleto po iyan. And then number six, ang mga unaccompanied minor shall be charged 100% of the Fair. So, kahit minor sila, 100% pa rin po ang bayad para po sa kanilang pamasahe. Take note number 7, an unaccompanied minor service fee or UMSF 
shall be assessed on a per sector basis and shall be paid upon the issuance of the ticket. Ito po, please take note again, yung UMFS na service nila required lamang sa mga unaccompanied minors na below 12 years old. Para po sa 12 to 17 to 18 years old, optional na po ito. Now, number eight, for partially used tickets where child's fare was originally assessed, tickets will be reissued to reflect the full fare of the remaining coupons. Additional fare taxes will be collected on the top of the unaccompanied minor service fee. So, yan po yung basic requirements po para sa unaccompanied minors. Now, ito na po. Tingnan po natin. Requirements for unaccompanied minors arriving now in the Philippines. Reminder, please note that only those minors endorsed by the DSWD. Ayan po. Shall be allowed entry to the Philippines. Please read the DSWD procedure and documentary requirements for minors traveling unaccompanied or accompanied by non-relatives for the documentary requirements that must be submitted to the DSWD. So, ito po yung mga kinakailangan, katulad po nung sabi natin kanina. Ito po, must be presented upon check-in endorsement letter from DSWD. Kailangan po all arrival of unaccompanied minors and those arriving with a non-relative should be coordinated with DSWD no less than one week before the expected flight schedule. Ayan po. And then, documentary requirements must be submitted to support ROFs at dswd.gov.ph. Kinakailangan din po may copy number two ng passport ng unaccompanied minor. And then, copy ng passport or ID ng parents or authorized guardian in the Philippines. Kinakailangan number four authorization letter indicating the name and address of the guardian in the Philippines and that parents are, ito po una, you're allowing the unaccompanied minors to be alone inside the quarantine facility. Then the unaccompanied minor will be monitored by the parents regularly. At ang pangatlo, the responsibility of the unaccompanied minor is on the parents and guardians and therefore in case of emergency, they will be immediately go to the quarantine so they will immediately go to the quarantine facility to check on the minor so they will go immediately to the quarantine facility to check on the minor now contact number of the minor parents and guardian must be given that's number seven number eight copy of the birth certificate and nine will be the flight details now please take note for 15 years old and below, they must be accompanied by the guardians in the quarantine facility. Below are the additional requirements. So negative RT-PCR test result of the guardian and then approved BOK certification indicating that the guardian is allowed to accompany the unaccompanied minor or the that the guardian is allowed to accompany the unaccompanied minor inside the quarantine facility. So, ito po yung pinaka-importante mga kabayan na ating i-take note. Ano po ba yung specific requirements for unaccompanied minors or Filipino minors na if na-overlook po, magkakaroon ng challenge sa airport like what happened to some of our, uh, kumbaga, Mga viewers, let us just take a look. Specific requirements for unaccompanied Filipino minors age 13 to 17. So, kung fully vaccinated po, uh, hindi hihingan o hindi i-require na mag-quarantine sa hotel or at wala rin pong testing upon arrival only kung ang fully vaccinated na age 13 to 17 ay with or without booster basta may prior coordination with DSWD. So, napaka-importante po nito. Kung wala po kayong coordination with DSWD, then ibig sabihin, there's a possibility na maka-quarantine po ang minor at ganun din po ay ipag-testing, which happened to some of our subscribers at children. Now, 
Kung sakasakali po more than fully vaccinated, may booster na po ang 13 to 17 years old, then uh, wala na po iyan na kumbaga quarantine at testing upon arrival. Eto po, kung sakasakali po fully vaccinated ang inyong minor na 13 to 17 years old at pag alis po mula sa point of origin ay nakapagpa negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or negative antigen taken within 24 hours, then hindi na po siya magkakwarantine pagdating sa Pilipinas at no testing upon arrival. So yan po yung sinasabing uh, requirements at conditions ng Philippine Airlines. So I think ito po siguro yung missing information sa ilan pong mga kabayan po natin na mga magulang na hindi po sila na-inform or hindi po na ipagbigay alam in advance ng airlines na ito ang kinakailangan para pagdating sa Pilipinas ay hindi po sila hanapan ng uh, like negative RT-PCR test 48 hours lalo na kung fully vaccinated at walang kasamang guardian. So para naman po sa partially vaccinated at unvaccinated, kailangan po ng arrival test at hotel quarantine is required. So yan po mga kabayan, ang ating uh, basic information so, yan po mga kabayan ang ating update regarding unaccompanied minors at mga requirements. So, looking forward na katulong po ito sa inyo, lalo na kung pauwi na po ang inyong mga anak. So, please uh, take note in case of non-compliance of the above requirements. Ayan po ang sinasabi po nila dito, guardians from the LGU should accompany the minor during the facility-based quarantine. At ang requirement for the guardian, yung kastulad po ng nasabi natin, negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or negative antigen test taken within 24 hours prior to check-in in the quarantine facility. At kailangan may signed waiver po ito indicating the awareness of the risk of exposure and to accompany the minor until the completion of the facility-based quarantine. At gayon din po, similar na po ito ha, dun sa ating foreign national. So we'll just simply uh, discuss for the foreign national Ayan. in another video which I'll do in English. So uh, let us just take a look at the unaccompanied minor service fee or UMSF. How much will it cost? Is it refundable? So the UMSF is refundable for the following cases. Passengers does not want to push through with the flight. B. Accompanying adult is available. And C. Passenger rebooks flight and turns 12 years of age on the new flight date. And then flight disruptions or cancellation. Note, standard refund policy applies. Now, country between Manila, Canada, and London, that's 100 US dollars uh, for between Philippines and Asia. Ayan, Guam and Port Moresby, that's 50 dollars us dollars and between the philippines uae qatar saudi arabia and kuwait that's 75 us dollars and between the philippines and australia new zealand that's 70 us dollars and for domestic in here in the philippines that will be 1288 pesos or local currency equivalent i am so, ito naman po for other countries. So, this are the local currency equivalent for the... So, this are the local currency equivalent for the UMSF. So, muli mga kabayan, I hope you find this video helpful and informative. If you do, please click like and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. That's Jamie Iris Talk TV. At click nyo na po yung notification bell nang sa gayon araw-araw ay ma-update natin kayo. So muli po ako si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV show host na nagsasabi saan man punda ko ng mundo, taas na o tayo po yung mga Filipino. At sa lahat ng mga babiyahe, either pa uwi ng Pilipinas o pabalik sa mga bansa kung saan po ay nakatira at nagtatrabaho, may you have a blessed and pleasant flight. At kayon din po sa mga nakabakasyon ngayon sa Pilipinas, enjoy your vacation mga kabayan at balikbayan. Muli, maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood sa aking channel. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you all!